fast moving storms quickly moved out of the region, but not before leaving a trail of destruction behind in some areas. One of our viewers in Elkridge shared this video of the moment when lightning ripped through the skies in Howard County. And in Montgomery County, powerful wind gusts ripped trees from the roots, leaving debris in the streets. It even caused one tree to crash into a home. You see it right here. So far, there is no word on any injuries. Right now, we're going to send it right over to meteorologist Chelsea Ingram. You were busy this afternoon, Chelsea. Yeah, a lot going on with those storms, and it was the heat and humidity that really helped ramp those up. We've, in fact, had about 10 days with temperatures at least 90 degrees or higher. We made it to the triple digits yesterday, and once again, that happened on Sunday. We didn't hit records, but we're all okay with that. However, it was the heat, it was the humidity that fueled some showers and storms now pushing over in the portions of the Delaware Valley. We're much quieter here at home. We'll be dry as we head into the overnight hours tonight, and then another round of showers and storms heading our way as we make it into Monday. The good news about these storms, they did help to cool things down. 80 now in Baltimore, 79 in Westminster, 75 degrees currently in Frederick and it's 74 out in Hagerstown. Look at the temperature change. Six degrees cooler than this time yesterday. We'll take it. Nine degrees cooler in Westminster. We still have that uh, heat warning in place for the lower eastern shore. Some cool air is going to be working its way in there as well. We'll talk about when it arrives for everyone and how long it'll be sticking around. That's in your full forecast and it's coming up. For now, sending it back to you.